Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with Zenrot. Say hi, Zen. Hello everybody. It's sad. It's sad night. It's a sad night because we have to do not an emergent not an emergency state of the channel because I don't want it to seem like, oh my god, all hands on deck. Quickly, Zen, get in here. <laughs> I need you to drop whatever you're doing. Drop whatever bullshit you have. I need you to help me with my shit, but no. Um I felt like doing a state of the channel because uh yeah, some shit happened. AKA <laughs> Dragalia is gone or is going to be gone sometime in July. Um what does that mean for the channel? Well, shit. <laughs> That's a good question. Well, yeah. the, good th the good thing is is that both so if you don't know, Dragalia is shutting down. If you want to know how many times has a gotcha shut down on me, this is the third time. This is the second time it was the main gotcha of my channel. Um, the previous one was Ore Collection, and it uh, it died on me. Unfortunately, we've we constantly mourn it any any chance we have. Uh, the other gotcha that ended up going on me, but was never the main gotcha. But I think I ended up, was one of the very few people that at least covered it as long as I did was uh, Star Smash, which was just an unfortunate release. It was an old gotcha released in a. And then a, a new era of gotcha that just doesn't yeah, make sense they, to release. That, they released it. It sucked. And it did the exact same thing with Collection did, really. They released it, and it sucked. And then they made it better, and people were like, I don't give a shit. That thing sucked when I played it, and they never came back. Yeah, it's just impossible to do a, a proper comeback story. It's not possible. Uh, except for, funny enough, Dragalia, where they did it in one year in, where they completely fixed the gotcha, and it made the game godly, and it was able to last till 3.5 years or so. Uh... Which is amazing in and of itself. But anyway, now Dragalia is shutting down. And this is the second time I've had to deal with it when it's a main one. I never even did a video of Star Smash going down. I think someone asked me, how come you're not making a video of Star Smash going down? And the answer is, is like, it's if you've seen my Dragalia video where I talked about it, it I'm just sad, man. I can't. <laughs> I can't oh, man. I think I've lost three gotchas, too, now that I think about it. You think so? Which one are your three? Um, or Collection, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jojo, Stardust Shooters, and Pitter Patter Pop. Oh, that's right. So you, yeah, man. Though, to be right. fair, I had pretty much stopped Pitter Patter Pop by the time it got canceled. Yeah, that, that's fair. You kind of moved on to something else. This is also yeah. why I wanted you to But I played, I played Stardust Shooters up to the final hour before they took the service down. That's rough. That game that's was really fucking goaded. I miss that game so much. I like, yeah. I might like it more than Or. Jesus, all right. It's, it's <laughs> If it's if it's not more than or it's tied. Damn. All right. Respectful. I'll I'll respect that. But um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to make this video because it's really weird when a channel has to basically like pivot away from what it was its main thing. I could already feel the effects, by the way, of uh, just to get really into the nitty gritty of YouTube. Uh, when I say Dragalia is my main one, I'm being one hundred percent serious. Even though like. Uh, Fago, for example, makes a shit ton more views than me. And really, I sh in if I was smarter, I would have probably started the transition to Fago many years ago when it made like when I did a video that had like fifty thousand views for for that Fago. probably would have been a good time. Yeah, <laughs> would have been a good time. But I decided to still make it so that it was mainly focused on Dragalia and still did some Fago stuff and some other stuff on the side. Um. And I felt I started feeling the effects of Dragalia going down really soon because I was someone who was really into recording Dragalia stuff, but it has to be new for me. I'm not like one of those dudes who are like built in Dragalia where they could just make infinite videos saying like, let me show you the this specific team and this comp and this like worm print build. I was never that guy. I was more the guy who was like, here's a unit. I have this unit. I want to show off this unit. Here's an event. Here's this. I do that. And I was doing perfectly fine with that. And I was able to like coexist. And when Dragalia was doing good, it let me kind of be able to do other side videos and have no real issues with that. But the second Dragalia started slowing down, things got like not dire, but I noticed an immediate like, whoa, <laughs> there's been a huge jump down. And it really does start from when Dragalia slows down. So now that Dragalia is going away, I have to start moving into something else that is going to be the main one. So from basically this day forward, unless something, uh, a new gotcha is released, it's looking like Fago is going to be my main gotcha going have forward. Have you ever tried Monster Strike? Have I ever tried Monster Strike? I don't think I tried. Isn't, uh, I, I, isn't Monster Strike kind of like Star Smash? Kind of, yeah. 
but it's it's different. Um, mm. It's the same basic gameplay model where it's like a board that you move your characters around on, mm. but like the actual gameplay loop is totally different. But it's mm. actually really fun, and it's a better Shonen Jump crossover than <laughs> Jump Booty is. Are you saying that because it has JJK characters in it? I'm saying that because it's not Demon Slayer and One Piece on loop back and forth over and over again. Okay. All right, fair enough. Maybe th- this is the other thing is that maybe I will start trying to find another gotcha. Jampudi, I like a whole bunch. Like, we make a whole bunch of things on Jampudi, but I also just, I'm not good enough in the game. Like, the game is unfortunately too deep into its life. Too established, me. yeah. Yes, too established, and, like, there's a specific way of doing content for it that I'm just not looped in on. And I was able to get in on it on kind of the ground floor with Dragalia because I kind of, like, was able to I would like I did a video for it very early on and I stuck with it when everyone else kind of abandoned it and then when the fire emblem stuff came up and I was able to keep going I was able to like leverage that with like d3 helping out with that a whole bunch and it made it so that people came specifically for Dragalia stuff and so there was like a perfect ecosystem but now that ecosystem is basically gone so that means that uh I have to either find something new or just fully go into Fago. And thankfully, there are enough people who watch both. I know for a fact that there isn't. And there's also, like, long-suffering Dokkan <laughs> players for me as well who have stuck with me specifically only for Dokkan, which is a damn shame because I really don't want to <laughs> go back to Dokkan. <laughs> the uh, gotcha player's retirement home where you're yeah. like, well, all the want- good stuff is dead now. Yeah, the only thing that remains is Dokkan, and I'm like, I don't want to go back to Dokkan. <laughs> I was happier. I'm happier with Dokkan uh, not being a part of the Dokkan community and just knowing dudes who suffer through the Dokkan community. <laughs> That's like my uh, current claim for that, so I really don't want to go back to that. So it's really either kind of go in on Fago, which I actually, a lot of people like my stuff on that, so it's very helpful for me to have people who like that I do stuff. I was able to get on in on the ground floor because I was there when NA launched and I've basically been playing since then. On the JP version, it's a little different because I played it when it was maybe a year in. Um, and then I kind of couldn't handle it because it was a lot of JP, um, a lot of JP text in a story heavy game. So I was like, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to kind of. D- I don't want to constantly keep skipping all this story and then looking it up on like a wiki to see what the hell was happening in that specific sequence with so many like literally like I think maybe over 40 hours of Japanese text for the story easily for the main Yikes. story for the first one. Yikes. Yeah. And I if I'm going to play that I'm going to play it translated and I don't mind waiting the two years so. I can do that. Um, like I said with Jampudi, it just doesn't make sense. I joined in too late. If I was maybe joining it a little bit sooner, it'd be a little bit, it'd make more sense for me. But as it is right now, I just really like enjoy talking about it and occasionally making some videos on it. And that's kind of where I'm standing on that one. Uh, we have Master Duel, funny enough, but then Master Duel also cuts cuts into the fact that we also have Tag Duelists. <laughs> And yeah. to be fair, I like I like using I like doing Yu-Gi-Oh videos when it's uh, us two together. I think it's much funnier that way, and it lets for the like thirty minutes of pure blind silence. Like if I'm not doing editing, then I think it's better for me to have a person to at least talk to. And I do I, to, I, to I bounce I, off of yeah, yeah I exactly. That. And I release uh, Yu-Gi-Oh videos unedited, so <laughs> you get the full experience of playing against virtual world and stuff like that. Um, so it's a, it's a specific choice. I like seeing the full game. So that's why I like doing it full there. And if not for that, it's literally like maybe finding another game and trying to play it. Uh, the way YouTube just works, I wish I could be one of those channels that could literally just do whatever they want and then release what they can. But the problem is, is that even for videos like that, like they have a big thing that's like the go-to thing, the reason why people go to the channel. And then they do the side things to kind of be there for when, um, they're kind of waiting, basically. It's it's really weird to think about it that way. That's kind of the way I see it. Like uh, a good example of this is probably like, uh, not to specifically like, uh, when I say this, it's an example I can think of in my head, and in no ways is trying to be like talking shit on a person just to get that out of the way real quick. But the way I always see it is like, for example, if you go to Matt McMuscle's channel and he does mainly what happened is what the main thing people go there for, but he does like a lot of other side things that like his own like viewers tell him like, hey, you should play this and they donate to let him play. 
And obviously, the main thing that draws in the most people is his main series, What Happened. But he still gets to do a lot of other stuff on the side because there's a specific built-in audience for that. And that's great when you're already big and like established and you have a thing that can kind of let you do that. But when you're starting out, it's way, way rougher. <laughs> it's way different. <laughs> like the, That makes sense. Yeah, the, 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 the differences in just channel views and stuff like that, and the way YouTube works, like, if you are releasing stuff with just, like, not being watched or doing any of that, they ding you for some reason. <laughs> it's really fucked up what they do. So that's kind of what you have to do, so, yeah. Going forward, the channel will, chances are, kind of position itself into Fago stuff. Still doing Dragalia stuff as long as I can, obviously. Like, until the game shuts down, which it sounds like is sometime in July. So that gives me some time to at least do some final videos. We didn't get that much... We did technically get that much time in Orc Collection, but it's just a completely different game. Like, at that point, like... Um... Because Orc Collection was such a PvP-focused game, and waiting for the new unit release, once they stop releasing new units, it's like, well, yeah, I could keep showing off this specific team, but there's just no point. There's just, like, literally no point to any of this. Like, you could get to... Uh, it was especially sad in our collection, because you could get, like, the lowest score in the world, and you could be number one. It was very sad near the end of War Collection, but uh, because Dragalia is single-player focused, it's a little bit easier to do that. And it sounds like there's still plenty of Dragalia lost people, because it sure sounds like... uh, It's funny, because there's so much more outpouring for Dragalia lost now that it's going away. That it kind of feels like whoever jumped the gun and said maybe we should close it may be fucked up. Well, at the same time, though, it's definitely some of those things where, like, like it's for me personally, I, I can respect Dragalia a lot. Like, I think it's a really objectively good game. Mm -hmm. Not for me. Yeah. So, like, I think there's definitely a lot of posts. Like, I think Neo's was probably like this, too, where we were like, it sucks to see a game that's really good that gives a shit about its player base die while all this other garbage is out there. But at the same time, I'm not going to download it, you know? Yeah. You can only respect it so much. There's only so much you can go by on respect. And again, when I was talking to Zen off screen, when you look at specifically the money that Dragalia brought in, it does it like is it makes less money than Pocket Cam. And also much Which less, I don't think has a gotcha element to it. It does not have a gotcha element at all. <laughs> um it has a different kind of weird it has a it has a, it has a battle pass, I think. Which is weird to say. <laughs> uh, Dragalia does not have a battle pass, but <laughs> Pocket Camp does. Um, it makes less money than Super Mario Run, which is a single player game that you pay for once if you want to. Think about that and let it really sink in how little money Dragalia made in the grand scheme of things. Um, in the Psy Games universe, it literally makes less money than every single thing that they have, including World Flipper. So. It's kind of, it's kind of insane. <sighs> but yeah, I just wanted to do this specifically to talk about uh, where the channel is probably going. I'm going to still be doing stuff, so don't worry. I'm not going to be like going away and disappearing into the ether forever. Um, though it does sound kind of tempting, doesn't it? And just kind of disappear. <laughs> just, just vanish into the night. Yeah, just one day. Whew, Your last imagine. video should just be. The, the home screen that shows the guy walking to that song that everyone loves. Oh, yeah. And then right when service goes down and it says that service is down, the video ends, and then you never upload again. Oh, that'd be really good. <laughs> that's, just where, gonna... that's just where it sits. Forever. Forever. 12-hour long strut video. That's what it's going to be on from now on. Uh, no, but unfortunately I have to do continue because I do like making videos and I like helping and uh for right now that main thing is going to be for go because i still really like for go not to say that uh the chances of me playing a new gotcha and getting really into it aren't high but it's very hard to like do it with an established one already um that i was able to get into for go is specifically because i was playing the na version of the game and i had been playing it for uh by the time i made that video that did a lot of views i had been playing it straight for two years so i knew what i was talking about but Trying to get into something when it's already been established is much harder. You have to wait for when it's basically new to a lot of people. Like Grand Cross, for example. Like Grand Cross JP had been going for a while, but then nobody really gave a shit until the NA version came out that was fully translated. And that's when a lot yeah. of people were able to like jump ship and be like, oh yeah, I'm a Grand Cross because I'm here with everyone here at the beginning. I looked at some stuff that happened on JP, so I know just a little bit more <laughs> so I can use that knowledge as leverage. Um, and you can kind of go from there. 
I don't know what the chances are of there being a new gotcha though that is specifically tailored to me. I feel like the only one, like all the new gotchas that come out are like, you know, Genshin, which I can I did videos on. I was able to break myself away from it, so I don't really want to go back <laughs> because the grinding in that game sucks ass. Um, there's technically a JJK gotcha coming out, but I don't know if I'm gonna like that. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist, which I don't know much about Full Metal the Alchemist. The JJK so. one, I will inevitably play, given who I am as a human being. Yeah. Uh, but I have to say, the gameplay looks kind of shitty, so <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, wait and see in a lot of that stuff. Uh, but yeah, and I mean, for all, maybe I should just go into one of like the, the main console ones. Maybe I should just get really good at Apex and just become full <laughs> Apex. No, that would require me to be skillful. I can't do that, Zen. I need to be able to play on a mobile game. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I mean. the, the mobile games I, uh, that I play vary from, like, at all times. But right now, I've got Master Duel, mm -hmm. uh, Final Fantasy Dissidia, Final Fantasy First Soldier, and Jump Duty. Yeah. And I think mine are uh, Dragalia, which is going away. Dokkan, which I still have installed, but I have not played since the anniversary ended. Um, I still log in every day though. Uh, and for Go, and I think that's basically and Master Duel, but I play Master Duel on my PC, so <sighs> that's at the end of the video, everyone. That's kind of the state of the channel as it is right now. If there's any big update, I'll let you know, but just know I will continue to do videos, I will continue to release stuff that I can. If you're still a fan of those hour long Hello Kitty videos that I do, don't worry, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> I will still <laughs> play Hello Kitty games for as long as I can feasibly do it. <laughs> I have to finish that last uh, Hello Kitty game because holy shit, that shit was kicking my ass. I put it on hard mode because as a joke, because like how hard could the Hello Kitty be game be? And that shit absolutely fucking destroyed me. <laughs> this is maybe what? Yeah, it's harder. It's it's it, it controls weird, and then it's also a puzzle game, and it has a time limit on it. Uh, that shit is unbelievably hard. Um, I have to go back to it at some point because I think I'm going to eventually reach the end. I think I got to the, about the halfway point before I, before I said, fuck it. Let me go play an easier game like Elden Rings because I don't want to deal with Hello Kitty right now. <laughs> it's too hard. But yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thanks very much for watching. If you have anything to say, feel free to leave it down below. I'll gladly hear what you got to say. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to be taking suggestions of what I should play because the channel is very much like what I kind of currently feel. So I have to ha give some form of shit of whatever I'm playing to kind of enjoy what I'm doing. So thanks very much for watching, everyone. We'll see you guys next time. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.